Hello students, let's change the subjects of each of these formulae. Number one, you know with temperature going from Celsius to Fahrenheit, we have this formula. We are asked to make C the subject of the formula. Right now, F is the subject and I'm circling it. This is the subject of the formula because it is by itself on one side of the equation. Okay. So we want to make C the subject of the formula. So we have F is equal to 9 over 5 multiplied by C add 32. Okay. We want C to be alone. So we have to get rid of this 32 from this side of the equation and get rid of this 9 over 5. First we will deal with 32. We do the opposite of add 32, we subtract. So we have F take away 32. It's called a 9 over 5C. Plus 32. Subtract 32. Okay, so we have subtracted 32 from both sides of the equation or the formula. Alright, and 32 subtract 32 is 0, so that disappears. All right, and what do we have remaining with? We have 9 over 5C is equal to F take away 32. Okay, we have 9 over 5C is equal to F take away 32. We need to get rid of this fraction 9 over 5, and so we will divide by 9 over 5 on both sides. So we divide by 9 over 5. We divide F subtract 32 by 9 over 5. And when we cancel, 9 over 5 into 9 over 5 is 1. Okay. So this is what we have right now. We have C equal F subtract 32 all over 9 over 5. Okay, this is our answer. We have made C the subject of the formula. We can write it in a simpler way as 5 over 9 multiplied by x subtract 32 is equal to C. Alright. So we got this by dividing by 9 over 5. And by multiplying and finding the inverse of 9 over 5, which was 5 over 9, right? So remember your division of fractions, okay? So that takes care of number 1. Let's move on to number 2. This equation is used to find the volume of a cylinder. So V is equal to pi r squared h. Right now, V is the subject, but we want to make R the subject of the formula. Okay, so we must get rid of pi and h from this side of the equation, and then we have to get rid of this power 2. So we have to get rid of three objects. Okay, let's get rid of the pi and the h. So we will divide both sides by pi over h in order to cancel the pi over h from the right hand side. Okay. Right, so let's cancel now. Pi into pi 1, pi into pi 1, h into h1, h into h1. Alright, so we have V over pi H. Remember pi H means pi multiplied by H is equal to R squared. So we have one more thing to do. We have to get rid of this 2 here. We will do the opposite of square, which is square root. So we will square root both sides. V over square root of V over pi over H. Is equal to the square root of r squared. 
And we know that r times r equal r squared. Remember that? r times r equal r squared. And so the square root of v over pi over h is equal to r. So we have made little r, common r, the subject of the formula. Okay, so I hope this was helpful and keep practicing and good luck in all of your exams.